Welcome to ESTNN, my name is Malik, and today we are going to be breaking down the meta that is going throughout the Overwatch League and high levels of play right now. We've seen some variations in other dive comps come about, but for the most part, these come from teams who can't run the meta at the same high level as their opponents. We're going to start by breaking down the heroes that are in the meta, what their abilities do, and then we're going to break down a couple team fights and talk about synergy. So this new meta consists of Reinhardt and D.Va as the tanks, May and McCree as the damage dealers, and Anna and Lucio as the healers. McCree has been swapped out for Widowmaker on maps such as Junkertown where long sightlines and hitscan players can really make their moves and go about freely on the sightlines. Let's start with the main tank, Reinhardt. Now, he's the main tank of choice for this meta for the mobile stance that he can take against the enemy team. Of course, his shield provides some much needed protection for the damage players, but his Earth Shatter still remains one of the best ultimates in the game. In this meta, Reinhardt players take a passive approach to team fights, keeping their shields up for as long as possible, while taking the occasional swing at the enemy if they get too close. Previously in the double shield meta, Orisa's shield allowed for Reinhardt to take off angles or swing away with very little repercussions, and even Sigma's off angled shield was adequate protection from a McCree or flanking damage hero. Now it is common to see Orisa on control points just because of the very solid stance that she can take either on an off angle or on the point and allow her team to move about freely and do what they need to do. Moving on to the off tank of choice, we've got D.Va. And D.Va's part in the meta is subtle yet crucial, and it's one that requires a lot of peeling and flank management. While Sigma was able to simply place a shield in front of an enemy hit scanned, D.Va throws herself at them, using defense matrix to negate a majority of the damage and force the enemy to relocate. Disruption is the name of the game for D.Va, whether she is diving an enemy McCray on an off angle, or creating space by diving the backline and attacking a healer. The defense matrix also remains one of the strongest single abilities in the game, given that she can eat anything from a blizzard to an enemy. Going into the damage heroes, we're going to start with Mei. Now, Mei is the perfect hero for zoning out the enemies, given that her primary freezes the enemy in place, while her wall can block off a Deadeye or Pesky Diva bomb. Mei's utility comes in that she is very adaptable to both the attacking and defending sides. Often, Mei walls can mean life and death, but it can also be used to delay the enemy's side, forcing them to re-evaluate a push. Ice walls used to separate the enemy team from each other is a great way to get a few picks before the team fights even begin. Next up we've got McCree, and he is the high versatility long range damage player that makes this composition thrive. Now the main crux with this meta is that it requires a proficient hitscan player to wield McCree, because as we've seen with teams like the Houston Outlaws, body shots just don't cut it. McCree's ultimate Deadeye is a hit or a miss, but nevertheless it offers the chance to zone out enemies, draw out ultimates, or even get the occasional pick off with the combination of Earth Shatter. The real fun with McCree comes with his flashbang and its ability to fake out the enemy Reinhardt and shut down just about every ultimate in the game. And moving on to the healers, we start with Anna, and she is a killer main healer that offers the most out of any of the other healers in the game. Anna's ability to easily shut down any enemy with a sleep dart or halt a push with a single antinade on the enemy makes her just one of the most valuable tools that a team can have. Her sleep dart is great at zoning, and it forces flanking damage players or even damage players with long sight lines to kind of play around the corners and play around the shields so that way they don't get slept. On the flip side of that though, her sleep dart is one that can render her own ability useless. Nano can empower just about any hero to become a one-man wrecking crew, from a McCree with Deadeye to a Reinhardt creating space for the rest of his team. The only problem is that that hero becomes a target for every enemy player, and especially the enemy Anna, to shut them down with a sleep dart. 
The last piece of the puzzle for this meta is Lucio, and his role has remained fairly unchanged throughout most of the metas, in that he gets the team in and out of situations while providing a passive healing to everyone. The primary change in this new meta though, is that Lucios are more skilled and aggressive, often speeding their D.Va into the backline to dive an enemy or speed boost with the McCree Deadeye allows him to move a little bit faster and get some of those off angles. We've already seen Jexay go in for kills numerous times, while Funny Astro has mastered the art of the Sonic Amplifier. Now we're going to get into some of the combinations that come with these heroes in this meta, talk about the synergy, and give a few examples from the Overwatch League. So when we're talking about the rollout, both teams charge forward, testing the Reinhardt barriers while setting themselves into their positions. McCrees will begin to rotate into their flank positions, with May Ice Walls coming out to zone off select members of the enemy, or to easily allow for transitions without the Reinhardt shield getting picked at. Teams have developed a few styles of playing May Ice Walls, one of which is using it to separate one or two members of the enemy, who step a little bit too far out from the members of their team, separating themselves and leaving themselves vulnerable. Now if the opposing May is one of the members cut off, they can defensively wall in front of them to mitigate damage, and this has been a common playstyle for teams who like to take it slow and be a little bit more decisive in their engagements. Divas have the role of watching off flanks and taking high positions and gathering information for the rest of their team. With a 3 second booster, it makes it possible for them to zip around and get in and out of situations while causing mayhem in the backline. Removing Diva from the fight is one of the top priorities, along with managing the position of the enemy McCree, mostly because these two are direct counters to each other in this meta. Divas constantly hunt enemy McCrees, harassing them whenever possible, and denying them ability to get in the much needed headshot. Diva can also be incredibly useful at removing the enemy blizzard from a fight, if timed correctly. Maze will often focus on freezing the Diva before throwing down their ultimate, or just demech her completely and the problem is solved. Both teams test each other, looking for a flaw in the enemy setup that they can extort for the upper hand. Sometimes this comes in the form of a clutch McCree headshot or just an insanely accurate blast of a Lucio. Usually teams will take an initial fight off of the point and rotate to capture it once the upper hand is acquired and the enemy is down a member. Now let's break down a couple of team fights to show you just how this meta works at the highest level of play. Now you can see in this team fight, Widow uses the Infrasight on the side of the fusion to scout out where the enemy is. Sabiobi uses Deadeye to push back the Philadelphia fusion, while Ivy uses an Ice Wall to protect the team during their transition. An Ice Wall from Who Are You on the side of the New York Excelsior lifts up their McCree in the hopes to give him an angle, but he can't seem to find anything, and for the time being, it just pushes the Philadelphia Fusion back off of the point and makes them take a passive approach. During this time, the Fusion is pulling back and waiting for the ultimate to run its duration. Mana rotates to the right and unleashes a Shatter, catching two members of the Fusion. And while this is happening, Hotbuff flies into the back and distracts Carpe and Alarm so the rest of the NYXL can do some damage. You can see that Carpe gets pushed into the chaos and he gets finished off fairly quickly. Widowmakers have a hard time adapting once they've gotten pushed out of their nice little sniper's nest, and this is why McCree is often the favorable choice when you don't have an extraordinary hitscan player like Carpe. Following this, the sound barrier comes out from Funny Astro to protect his team, but Who Are You takes down Carpe, and the ice walls from both Who Are You and Ivy separate Sato from the rest of the fusion and out of the line of sight of Alarm. Ivy is left to the swinging wrath of Reinhardt, and while we see the Lucia and D.Va dive onto the point to delay the turnover, Hotba on D.Va on the New York Excelsior is able to swoop in and push them up off of the point and complete the capture. 
Lucio gets focused down quite quickly, but Poco on D.Va is able to slip away with his life just barely. I'm playing it again on slower speed here, just so that way you can see all of the parts working together. In this next team fight, the Philadelphia Fusion attempts to take an aggressive push on the payload and secure the objective. Now, Corey takes a high ground flanks against the backline on McCree in the hopes that he would get a pick on alarm and shut down the fight, but he only gets sent packing by a diving diva. On the point, Ark uses sound barrier to engage in a fight, but after a failed earth shatter from Roar, the Washington Justice backtrack as a nanoed Reinhardt comes swinging their way with a sound barrier to enable the entirety of the fusion to clean up the Justice. Ivy places an ice wall behind Roar, cutting off his path for escape and putting him face to face with a hammer and no healer. Elevote dives onto the point to stall, but at this point the team fight is over and it's time to reset. My name is Malik, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you guys thought of this video and this kind of meta analysis breakdown. Let us know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. And as always, thanks for watching. And there you have it, a complete breakdown of the meta that is getting played right now at the highest levels of professional play. My name is Malik, thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. If you liked this, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content. Leave a comment if you have something you want to say if you like these kind of videos, or if there's some other types of videos you want to see us do. My name is Malik, thank you so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.